there. Off and racing for the open of the racing post weekend and nursery handicap. They all come away okay. Delarkey a little slower than a few of the others. Early on, though, Ahoy there down along the near side running rails with the yellow sleeves and cap has broken smartly. Also bang their early Mayfield boy working back to Balea in orange. Over towards the far side where the market leaders Hartnell is in the dark green at racing just in advance of both Mr. Gallivanter and our Gabriel. They're almost in a couple of groups as they cover the opening two and a half. Uh, so Hartnell over to the far side, down the near side Mayfield boy right in behind them. Ahoy there still prominent in company with Balea, Mr. Gallivanter and our Gabriel. They are the leading few being followed through by Desert Society, who is in pink. The light blue of Active Charity is towards the back end of the field in company with Delarkey, and also towards the rear is Rock and Roll Star. Heading on the run now down towards halfway and uh, over towards the centre of the race course. Hartnell with the big white streak on his face is showing in front overall now by about a length and a half to two. Moving in pursuit of Hartnell is our Gabriel. The far side runners at the moment appear to be in control. They're struggling down this near side. Into third position is Mr. Gallivanter. Act of charity in the light blue is starting to pick up, doing best of those down the near side. They're inside the final two furlongs now. Ahoy there has fallen in a hole. Likewise, Mayfield boy. A furlong and a half to go. Hartnell is the leader by about three to four lengths over in second hour Gabriel Mr. Gallivanter is back in third nothing else has managed to get close and inside the final furlong and bits they go Hartnell is a clear leader in the hands of Joe Fanning shows the way by about three to four lengths over in second position hour Gabriel who's giving chase in company with Mr. Gallivanter but their chase efforts are both in vain and Hartnell is showing the way and is going to get favorite back is off to a great start at Doncaster it goes the way of Hartnell by a good four lengths crossing the line in second hour Gabriel in third Mr. Gallivanter and they were followed in at long intervals by active charity in company with Delight who ran fairly well, working back to the field to find Desert Society, who got very tired. Likewise, at Rock and Roll Star, and then Belaya, also in rear, were Mayfield Boy and Ahoy there. So now, loving your work goes in. That's it. They're lined up. They're off. And race away, two miles in front of them. Coming out of the stalls, Gold Approach just moved slightly to her left and got a little bit in the way of Century, but there's uh, two miles to race and no damage done. And it is going to be Gold Approach in the blue and white jacket, the only filly in the lineup who comes through to lead in the early part of the race. Against the rails is Hartnell, green jacket with the red cap, big orange and the yellow colours moving through though into second place as they pass the winning post for the first time. And then Marzocco, green colour showing towards the outside of Anglo-Irish in the white jacket with the green hoop. Stable mates are in fourth and fifth places. A pale jacket from Montali runs against the rails. Godspeed in yellow and red is widest uh, of the field as they begin this right-handed swing uh, towards the mile and a half start. Next comes Hats Away, then Century in the all dark blue colours and with the green sleeve jacket. Loving your work is the back marker is now run away down the far side of the course going downhill and it is Gold Approach leading. She has a lead of around about a length and a half to Big Orange. The mainly yellow colours running in second place and with uh, a red cap Hartnell is against the rails showing in thirds. A white colours of Anglo-Irish against the rails and the green jacket for Marzocco market leader showing in fifth place. Then with a the noseband is Montali, racing just ahead of Godspeed in yellow and red colours. And the last few runners, Century in all dark blue, a little wide from the rails, loving your work. He's just about the back marker, big white face he has as they race on down towards halfway. And between those is Hats Away. Now Liam Jones in the white and red colours, about two from the rear of the field. But it continues to be gold approach. Sylvester de Souza making the running as they've got to halfway in the Queen's Vase and leads by two lengths. Big Orange in second place. There's almost a two-length gap there to Hartnell showing in third. One length behind him comes Marzocco in fourth place as they begin the uh, climb up towards the home straight. And then comes Anglo-Irish Frankie racing in fifth place from Montali and Godspeed together with Century still in company with Hats Away and Loving Your Work at the rear of the field. They're heading on towards the final five furlongs now. And Gold Approach has been left alone in front. She continues to have the advantage to Big Orange 
Orange running in second, and then Hartnell against the running rails. The green jacket and red cap. Marzocco is next. Anglo Irish looking for Frankie for a way out there. Century trying to make progress around the outside. Then comes Montali as a few of them manoeuvre out as they come towards the home turn. Three furlongs less than that to go now. Big Orange is coming to try and take the lead and does so. It's Big Orange going on to Marzocco. Gold approach behind those. Hartnell a little bit trapped for room, but going nicely behind these as they move into the straight. Big Orange in the yellow. Marzocco is next. A big gap for Hartnell on the left there and the red cap is zoomed through it. Century and Montali the next couple of runners. Two furlongs to go now and it's Hartnell with a red cap who's come through to take it up to Marzocco. Big Orange between those. Century the blue jacket down the centre. They're approaching the last furlong. Hartnell showing in front now with Joe Fanning by about two lengths. Century moving into second from Marzocco. Big Orange behind those. Century is getting to Hartnell now as they race up towards the line. Hartnell's tired. Century is trying to turn it. Hartnell fought him off. Century in second. Marzocco in third. And Big Orange is home in fourth. First number five, Hartnell. The second, number three. Third, number eight. Up towards the 1,000 metre mark at the halfway, and five and a half stars in front. He leads by one and three quarters. Pajaro is second, Disclaimer is third. Hartnell is fourth on the outside, a half a length away. He'd be about three lengths off the lead. Then came Beaten Up in Fraser's, followed by Opinion down on the inside. Now, Janub's taking off from the back of the field. He's starting to roll forward around who shot the barman, and Hawkspur's gone back to last of all. 600 to go, and five and a half stars in front from Pajaro. Now, Hartnell's starting to move move up three wide around the outside phrases four deep disclaimers on the back of the leader then into the straight beaten up followed by opinion who shot the bomb and Janub and Hawkspur looks for a run down to the inside the leader five and a half star here comes the big bloke Hartnell moving up on the outside and Hartnell now race to the front from five and a half star then came disclaimer followed by Hawkspur opinion and who shot the bomb but Hartnell looks all over a winner with 100 meters to go and Hartnell is well clear it's men against boys here Hartnell coming on for the job and wins it from either opinion I'd say got up for second and we're ready to run racing in the BMW and the Japanese horse immediately snagged back to midfield to the world and a fast drag and jump best with opinion Hampton Court put up on the speed from beaten up to the world and Hartnell firing up on the rails silent achiever dropping over he'll settle one off the fence followed by extra zero Lucia Valentino who shot the barman and protectionist is last well last like like last week fast dragon will cut out the running with Hampton Court a lot handier in second opinion takes a forward spot in third followed by beaten up then the two favorites Hartnell's three back the fence on the inside of the Japanese stallion to the world Further back to Silent Achiever on the outside of Extra Zero, then Lucia Valentino from Protectionist, and who shot the barmans in a three-wide position as they work past the mile mark and head to the back, and it's Fast Dragon running along at a decent enough pace. From Hampton Court, Opinion tucked in third from Beaten Up. Hartnell goes into a clear fifth now with two the world back into six. Two further back to Silent Achiever, then Extra Zero from Lucia Valentino. The Melbourne Cup winner settles second last Protectionist, and who shot the Barman who ran third to him that day is back at the tail of the field, working down the back, and it's Fast Dragon in front by a length to the three-year-old Hampton Court. Opinion in third from Beaten Up. Two and a half further back to Hartnell. Two off then to To The World. From Extra Zero, Silent Achiever Protectionist, Lucia Valentino and Who Shot the Barman is still last and about ten lengths off the leader. Inside the 950 metres, Fast Dragon in front from Hampton Court and Beaten Up. Opinion fourth. Hartnell still trapped Travelling well for McDonald in fifth. Nicholas Hall sitting quietly on to the world, although he gives him a bit of a nudge now. Something's gone wrong with Opinion. Opinion's being eased out of the race. Then came Silent Achiever, Lucia Valentino to the outside from Extra Zero. Will back who shot the barman and protectionist as the field starts to compact a bit coming to the turn. Fast Dragon in front from Hampton Court, but here they come. Hartnell and to the world rushing around the outside. We've beaten up trying to go with them. At the top of the straight, it's to the world on the outside of Hartnell, beaten up back in third, to the world looms on the outside of Hartnell and the two stars have drawn clear Hartnell the inside of to the world Hartnell's kicking from to the world, Hartnell gets a half length on to the world, beaten up back in third but Hartnell will take out the BMW Hartnell too good for the Japanese horse to the world, up into the gates 
And they're all set now for the running of the Group 2 Chelmsford Stakes. The red light is on. Racing, Grand Marshal just missed the start of Fraction Storm. The Stars vigorously ridden out off the inside, matching motors with prized icon. Kathy O'Hara just sits up in second in the early part. Hartnell rails through on the inside of Preferment. A length off to Who Shot the Barman and two lengths to Grand Marshal last. So Storm the Stars, given that rev up out of the gates, leads from prized icon, who's actually a touch keen at the 1,200 metres. O'Hara's really fighting with a three-year-old. Hartnell travelling strongly in third, a length and a half into Who Shot the Barman. From Preferment and Grand Marshal is the last one. The field strings out a bit. Storm the Stars travelling well in the lead. From prized icon, who's still firing up in second. Two lengths away to Hartnell. Two further back to Who Shot the Barman. Then the multiple Group 1 winning Stallion Preferment and three lengths away to Grand Marshal down the side of the course. Storm the Stars a half length clear from Prized Icon and Hartnell is just stalking the two leaders coming to the 700. Two further back to Preferment who shot the barman and Grand Marshal's last of all racing to the turn and Storm the Stars travelling for Abdullah by a length on Prized Icon. McDonald makes his move on Hartnell pulling it into a three wide position as they straighten up now. Can Storm the Star see it out? Hartnell makes a big bid for victory. He hasn't even touched him. And away goes Hartnell. The three-year-old prized icon's been too keen in the run. He's trying to hold down second from Storm the Stars. Preferment's revving up late, but the further they go, the further Hartnell's pulling away. Oh, isn't this easy money? Oh, McDonald with a big cheeky look over the shoulder. Eased him down, won it by seven. I think Storm the Star second just in front of Grand Marshal. Who shot the barman flew. Preferment close up. Prized icon fired up and ran last. What a great... Great effort by Hartnell, second up. Well, James McDonald pinching money there. The long, sustained peep over the shoulder over the final 75 metres has absolutely donkey-licked them. The time is 1.39.13. It was like the game was over at the halfway mark, the way he's travelled. Travelling brilliantly there for James. They're set. And away now. And uh, the starters caught them well with Hartnell, the first one out, and Jamaica away very quickly, and Tarzino's right on the premises as well. And the big guns are up there firing early. Sophia Rose is coming over, and second bullet on a deep move is going up towards the front runners as well. So it's a little bit busy here, and Jamaica just takes a trail off the leading four or five, and they stretch across the track. Sophia Rosa pokes her head in front. Hartnell using the inside. Round the outside then goes second bullet. Presses on to take it up now. So it is second bullet. Raw impulse back about the middle of the field. Second bullet shows the way. Tally moved to second by a length and a half. Sophia Rosa is third. And Tarzino's fourth with a bit of trail. A length and a half away came Hartnell. Jamaica is just behind him. A length further back came Preferment. A length and a half to Raw Impulse. Next on the outside of our Ivanhoe. They're followed by Happy Trail Set Squares. Gone back to second last. And the little engine. A thousand metres left to go. And out in front of second bullet. Shows the way by a half. Tally keeps him honest. Two lengths. Sophia Rose the third on the inside of Tarzino. Two lengths to Hartnell running fifth. No excuses. He's had a good run. A couple behind him then came Jamaica. Prefer it on the rails midfield. And they're followed by Raw Impulse. Our Ivanhoe. Happy Trails to little engine. And Set Square is now back last of all on the run to the home turn and the Turnbull 600 metres left to go and uh, the leader is second bullet from Tally who's gone up and heads him now right behind them is Tarzino in the red colours with Sophia Rosa and Hartnell McDonald's peeled out he's in clear air he's ready to let go when they corner in Jamaica's on his back being niggled at by Hall and then preferment well in the straight now and Hartnell bolted up on the outside and took his stable mate Tally Jamaica about a length and a half away battling along strongly and then a gap to Tarzino but Hartnell below the 200. He leads by more than two lengths. He's gone away on Jamaica and then Tally and Preferment. But the real Hartnell, we're seeing him today all right at Flemington and he's going to canter in. Hartnell, ultra impressive by three or four. And the field is set. Ready. Racing in the CF4. 
Lord of the Sky goes back towards the end of the field early. Dollar for Dollar began really smartly. Straight to the front from Thronum. And they were followed by Mighty Boss who lobs to third with Shah Hitsi forcing forward as you would expect. Followed by Brave Smash. About two lengths away in the field. Jester Halo. And on the inside single gaze from Lord of the Sky who's on the improve now after a tardy get-go. Further back in the field is Toes and Stardom who's also pushing forward out deep on the track as they reach the 900. From Mr. Sneaky well back Abby Marie two lengths. Shillelagh. So the front runner is thrown him and then tries to put the brakes on at the 800 metres and leads by about a length. The Lord of the Sky. Toes and Stardom third three deep. Dollar for dollar fourth the inside from Shah Hitsi. A length to Hartnell. Mighty Boss on the inside midfield from Brave Smash. Out deeper Mr. Sneaky with cover followed by Jester Halo. The inside is single gaze from Abby Marie and Tuling Shillelagh up around the corner at the 400 metres. It's thrown him and on the outside Lord of the Sky. Dollar for dollar's poised Toes and Stardom, three deep, roused into it. Followed by Mighty Boss, Shah Hitsi. Hartnell presents down the centre with Mr. Sneaky. Followed by Single Gaze. Thrown him at the 200 metres from Lord of the Sky. Dollar for dollar behind them. Followed by Toes and Stardom. Hartnell and Mr. Sneaky. It's thrown him just in front of Lord of the Sky at the 50. Hartnell's lifting. Hartnell lifting. The big boys come back in style and won it from a photo. Hartnell will win it. And the gates open. They're off from the Queen Elizabeth. Massive roar to the crowd. She's going to settle in last wings. And Hartnell is first out. Masked times mustering. So is Harlem. Happy clapper handy. He's eminence back last. Kluger runs handy fifth and Winks is moving forward. Bowman wants a better spot. Gets in front of Shillelagh. He's eminence back second last. Many thought he would lead. Dance, dance, dance is last. Basket time goes to the mile, has the lead all on his own here from Harlem and Hartnell's got the box seat third, two off then to the eight-year-old Happy Clapper, two further back to Kluger and there's Winks, one off the fence now, has he's eminent in a pocket back on the fence, then came Shillelagh and dance, 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 ten off the leaders last, it's the big roughy, basket time in front of the 1200, out by two links on Harlem, Hartnell with a great run third, two off to Happy Clapper, then came Kluger, three quarters the outside, Wings very relaxed in the run. Bowman sitting very quiet. He's eminent back. McDonald just easing back a little bit. It looks as though he's trying to find a way out off the fence. Then came Shillelagh and dance, dance, dance last. No surprises yet. They've got 900 a run. Masked time a length clear from Harlem. Then Hartnell, happy clapper. Now he starts the run on Wings. He's starting to move forward. Just shading Kluger. Then he's eminent still positioned back on the inside of Shillelagh and dance. Dance, 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 coming to the turn. The rocking mask of time, two lengths clear. Hartnell goes to second, giving chase. Now Happy Clapper and Winks is rounding them up, coming right around the field. Kluger takes an inside run. She's gone for home already, Winks. She beats off Hartnell. Kluger going up the inside. Happy Clapper can't go on. Winks is two lengths clear. Kluger sticks on. Then came Hartnell, but she's well clear, Winks, inside the final Australian icon, the greatest of all time. Winks wins her third, Queen Elizabeth beats Kluger, Hartnell third, happy